Well, I was expecting people to call. Like clockwork, less than 24 hours after the solar eclipse, optometrist Dr. Mark Eltis is hearing from patients. I have had some inquiries uh, online and in the office, there's been a couple of people who've called in saying that they looked at the eclipse and now they're concerned. Google trends show a significant spike in the number of people searching the phrase, my eyes hurt, peaking around the moment of totality in eastern Ontario and continuing the next day. Canadian Ophthalmological Society President Dr. Phil Hooper says he's hoping there won't be many lasting eye injuries. The last eclipse in Britain, they only had 70 people in the whole country that had serious eye problems following it. So I'm hopeful with all of the media presence that uh, occurred leading up to the eclipse and uh, all of the good advice that's out there that uh, people were not putting their vision at jeopardy. But not everyone got the memo. My colleague sent me a, a picture right outside his clinic. People were looking without protection. Symptoms may take time to appear. The peak of recognizing symptoms is one to two days. In a severe situation, you'll notice it right away. But more commonly with milder, it may take a few hours to a day or so for that to be manifest. And that usually stays around for four to six weeks and uh, hopefully then would recover. Vision damage may or may not cause some pain. Doctors say the number one thing to watch for is a change in vision. So a distortion on the way you're seeing centrally. So that obviously is a cause for alarm no matter what, and you should see your eye doctor. Catherine Ward, Global News, Toronto.